could pull out a stunning upset. A Brown victory would deny Democrats the 60th vote they need in the Senate to surmount a possible Republican filibuster of the major health care reform package, which still needs to be reconciled uh, by the Senate and the House. If Brown wins the election, Democratic leaders could press the House to pass the Senate bill without change. In Afghanistan, a small team of Taliban fighters launched a coordinated attack on the capital of Kabul on Monday. In a four-hour battle, the gunmen targeted the presidential palace, justice ministry, ministry of mines, and a presidential administrative building. Five people were killed and 70 were wounded in this spectacular attack. The attack began just as President Hamid Karzai was preparing to swear in 14 members of his cabinet. The Iraqi government is moving ahead with plans to open the nation's oil fields to international oil companies. Earlier today, an Iraqi oil ministry said Iraq and a group led by Exxon Mobil will sign a final deal next week for the development of the West Korna oil field that contains nearly 9 billion barrels of oil. Meanwhile, Royal Dutch Shell signed the final contract on Sunday to develop Iraq's Majnoon oil field, one of the world's biggest, largely untapped fields. Shell's chief executive, Peter Volzer, traveled to Iraq for the signing ceremony. We have been working in Iraq for around 50 years, and we look forward to actually come back and bring our technology and our people into Iraq in order to actually develop the oil fields of Iraq in order to actually bring the oil to the worldwide customers. In news from Latin America, the right-wing billionaire Sebastián Piñera has been elected president of Chile, becoming the first conservative to win the presidency since the fall of the Pinochet dictatorship in 1990. Piñera received 52 percent of the vote. Former Chilean president Eduardo Frey won 48 percent. Frey lost despite being endorsed by Chile's popular current president, Michelle Bachelet, who was unable to run for re-election under Chilean law. On the campaign trail, Piñera said former members of the Pinochet government would not be allowed to serve in his cabinet, but he has come, but he has some ties to the former dictatorship. Uh, his brother, José Piñera, served as Pinochet's labor minister and helped install the nation's neoliberal economic program. Some members of Piñera's coalition also served in the Pinochet cabinet. Wall Street firms are launching a campaign to challenge the Obama administration's proposal for a new tax on large financial firms to recoup bailout money handed out during the financial crisis. The New York Times reports a main lobbying group for the big banks, the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association, has hired a top Supreme Court litigator to study possible legal battles against the bank tax. The lobbying group claims the proposed tax is unconstitutional because it would unfairly single out and penalize big banks. In other fi finance news, Senate Banking Committee Chair Christopher Dodd is reportedly considering scrapping the idea of creating a consumer financial protection agency. President Obama had proposed the new agency to protect consumers against abuses in mortgages, credit cards, and other forms of lending. The proposed agency has been widely criticized by Republicans. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Juan Gonzalez. Amy Goodman is in Haiti, and we'll, we'll be joining her in a few minutes. But first, we turn to a voice from one hospital in Port-au-Prince that was badly destroyed by last week's earthquake. The General Hospital is three blocks from the crumbling National Palace. Former President Bill Clinton visited the hospital Monday as hundreds of people with broken limbs and multiple fractures were waiting for medical supplies to arrive. Democracy Now! reached Dr. Evan Leong at the General Hospital Monday evening. He is a doctor with Partners in Health. We've been working around the clock since our team from uh, Partners in Health came to uh, meet up with our Haitian colleagues who are st still here and still leading and still helping us recover um, to try to get this hospital uh, back up and running. The infrastructure is really, you know, uh, completely.